Hey there! Do you follow a strict diet? Do you avoid sun exposure to protect your skin from harmful UV radiation? Do you wear sunscreen when outdoors? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you are making moves in a healthy direction. But did you know that these healthy behaviors may leave you with inadequate blood vitamin D levels? If you're interested in optimizing bone and oral health, boosting immunity, and maximizing muscular growth, then you won't want to miss what I have to tell you about ATP Labs Oral Vitamin D3 Spray. Vitamin D is traditionally described as a regulator of bone metabolism through the homeostatic control of calcium and phosphate. Vitamin D3, the prohormone, is produced in the skin after exposure to sunlight and is acquired less commonly through limited selection of dietary sources. Vitamin D3 is transported to the liver where it's hydroxylated to form 25-hydroxyvitamin D3, the major circulating form of vitamin D and the biomarker of vitamin D status in the blood. If you have your blood tested at your doctor's office for vitamin D status, 25-hydroxyvitamin D3 is what they look for. It's called 25-OHD3, and it's further hydroxylated in the body to the active hormone 125-hydroxyvitamin D3. In a cross-sectional study of 2,299 men, low testosterone was identified in 18% of the participants, all of which had lower blood levels of 25-hydroxy-D3 than the rest of the group. In the follow-up study, it was found that when male participants were given 3,332 IUs of vitamin D3 per day, there was a significant increase in the circulating 25-hydroxy-vitamin D3, as well as total testosterone, bioactive testosterone, and free testosterone. Generally, less than 20% of the body's vitamin D needs come from the diet. However, during sun exposure, we get a good shot of vitamin D from the conversion of 7-dehydrocholesterol in the skin. Notably though, many people limit exposure to the sun's damaging UV radiation and tend to be vitamin D deficient, especially during winter months. Beyond being essential for calcium metabolism and absorption, Recent research suggests that vitamin D plays a pivotal role in the regulation of immune responses, it improves muscle repair and remodeling in young and older populations, and improves muscle function, especially in older athletes. Such decreased immunity can promote increased risk of respiratory infections, and several studies have reported that vitamin D3 supplements reduce the number of common cold episodes and the use of antibiotics in athletes. So keep your vitamin D topped up, and you'll be in the gym a lot more and in the doctor's office a lot less. Beyond positive effects on immunity, several studies have shown that low vitamin D levels are associated with lower testosterone in males. Testosterone is an endogenous hormone that's important for muscular adaptations to training. Naturally low testosterone levels in young men have been linked to decreases in protein anabolism, strength, and fat burning, and an increase in fat accumulation. In a cross-sectional study of 2,299 men, low testosterone was identified in 18% of the participants, all of which had lower blood levels of 25-hydroxy-D3 than the rest of the group. In the follow-up study, it was found that when male participants were given 3,332 IUs of vitamin D3 per day, there was a significant increase in the circulating 25-hydroxy-vitamin D3, as well as total testosterone, bioactive testosterone, and free testosterone. Since the discovery of a skeletal muscle vitamin D receptor and its interaction with muscle development and performance, research has unraveled a number of direct benefits to optimizing our vitamin D levels. First, vitamin D affects the genes that regulate calcium handling in muscle. Calcium is very important for producing forceful muscle contractions when you perform. Second, adequate vitamin D status is associated with increased muscle size and improved muscle quality. Research suggests that elevated blood levels of 25-hydroxyvitamin D3 inhibit myostatin, a protein in the body that blunts muscle growth. With less myostatin around, you can achieve greater gains. Our oral vitamin D3 spray is a highly bioavailable and pure form of vitamin D3. As always, I recommend taking 2,000 to 5,000 IUs or 4 to 10 sprays per day. You can split doses up and take them before meals or take them all at once at any time of the day. That's it folks, thanks for tuning in to another episode. If you haven't already, I hope you consider joining the ATP Lab lifestyle. And if you like what you heard in this video, please try our oral vitamin D3 spray. Let us know if you have any questions or what you think of our product in the comment section below. Make sure you follow ATP Lab on YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram at ATP underscore labs. And please follow me, Dr. DN Jackson, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr.